Hey YouTube, so this is part two of Dickie Bell. This is Little Daniel is what they call it. And this is the, um, the most popular section of um, Dickie Bell. A lot of times people will come up here, they'll go up this section. When they get to the top, they just make a U-turn and they go back down and they just skip the rest of the trail um, because they just really, really like this little section that actually has some rock. The trail has two sides. Um, where the gray Jeep is over there, the rental, um, that side over there um, is a harder side to come up. The side on the other side of the tree that's close to me is the easy side to come up. And then um, where those two kind of branches meet, um, the opposite occurs. So if you start, if you want the hard path, you start on the left and then you go to the right. Um, if you want the easy path, you start on the right and then you go to the left. And right here is where the fork is, where you can decide easier or hard. And most of the um, people with us end up going to the left, but also keep in mind that most of the people here, this is their first time on any kind of obstacle like this. And so, uh, you know, they're taking all the advice and just trying to learn how to do it. Um, there are some seasoned people that, you know, obviously have way more experience here. Um, but because, you know, obviously we want to be safe and everything. And uh, please only go, like, where you feel safe and always, um, you know, uh, you know, take advice from somebody that you trust. Um, don't take advice from um, somebody that you don't know. So, like, little did I know, um, the guy that's giving um, advice, apparently um, he hadn't done a whole lot of spotting before. Um, and I just sort of assumed that, that uh, he had done a lot of spotting. And then he asked me to actually do the spotting, which, I mean, I'm fine with. I don't mind spotting people. Um, but, you know, always ask if you don't know. Don't assume that just because somebody's standing in front of you and they're, you know, waving their hand around that they actually... Um, know what they're doing um the other thing is i mean like with me and kimberly i mean we don't trust strangers like in in general like like we don't trust other people to spot us uh, most of the time i'll get out and kimberly will just sort of ignore the person that's giving them the directions and she'll look at me and like expect that i give her the directions because she knows that you know it's my jeep and, and i don't want to wreck it or whatever and the other person um, may not you know have the same same point of view. So what I noticed with her was she was having problems controlling her speed. I don't know if you noticed that or not, how much the wheels were moving. And I asked her if she was in first gear, and she told me that she had an automatic. Um, and obviously, automatics, you can still put them in first gear. So I reached into her cab and um, showed her how to put it in first gear. So like I was just saying, um, there's a lot of people that are just, um, they're just new. Like, there's nothing wrong with being new. I was new at 1.2. And... Uh, um, when you're on a trail like this, um, you want to be in first or second gear, um, depending on like the gear ratio of your Jeep, and uh, you, you want to be going very, very slowly. Um, it gives you more power, and it also uh, um, allows you to control the vehicle a lot more. And uh, you can tell that she also doesn't have lockers, which, I mean, that's fine. You don't have to have lockers to go up um, stuff, uh, but she makes it up perfectly fine without lockers. Um, and the way that you know that is because you saw that um, some of the wheels are spinning more than um, some of the other ones. And it's not actually a rental, like there's a whole story behind um, like well, how she got the nickname, the rental. Um, but she does a good job, I think, in the end. Um, I mean, everybody did a good job, and everybody got up the trail. And that's Eddie um, spotting people. And so what we end up doing is we end up splitting up the, um, the spotting. So basically Eddie is going to go up to the top and kind of spot people up the top. And then um, I'll like start spotting at the bottom um, to get people through the, the next through obstacles. That's why Eddie's just walking up there because um, it's just quicker um, if you have like a different spotter on each obstacle. If you have enough spotters. Although that's a white Jeep, that's not my Jeep. Um, that's a, a different white Jeep. You can tell because it doesn't have the, the steel bumper, it doesn't have the winch. Um, it's also a hard top. It also has a going coastal banner on the front of it. There's a lot of reasons it's not my Jeep. They have the same fenders as me, as me and it is a white Jeep, um, mm -hmm. but it is totally not my Jeep. Um, Kimberly's actually in my Jeep. And you can see, I'm, um, it looks like I'm probably doing some spotting right now because you can see my hands like uh, moving around and I'm not uh, doing the best job of centering the... Uh, a little more, a little more, a little more. camera little because more. I'm just like really looking at uh, so. um, trying to line and them up and everything. And then come forward, yeah. But more, more. Keep turning. Wait, wait, stop. Keep turning. Keep turning. So the general idea when uh, when you're going over obstacles is you want to make V's. Um, and what I mean by that is um, there's usually right. some big rocks on the trail, yeah. and you just put the big rocks like yeah. on the tires, yeah. and you make little V's, um, and then 
Um, and the reason for that is because usually like the lowest point on the Jeep is going to be the pumpkin or the lower control arms. And uh, you don't want to have like an upside down V because then what would happen is um, you'd end up like hitting rocks like into the pumpkin and you wouldn't be able to move forward. So most of the um, spotting advice has to do with um, lining people up. And then the other thing to keep in mind is you want to steer from the rear. And uh, I'm right now I'm just checking with them to make sure they're in first gear, and they, and they are. Um, so that's good. And as you can see, um, this is a very kind of steep uphill. Um, you can tell by looking at the trees, um, the angle of the trees, like in relationship to the camera, this is not like a flat surface. This is a uphill um, climb with like rocks and stuff. All those strange looking barriers, those barriers, they have um, all over the park. You already just put those barriers up to make sure that people stay on the trail and they don't try to bypass obstacles and such. Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, like, like it's supposed to so be... So this is a uh, uh, unlimited care. sport it's edition, really most likely, because I, I don't see the Rubicon badging on it. And I'm pretty sure they're disconnected. I think that they're maybe, like, 33-inch tires. Maybe they're 35s. Um, they're not incredibly huge. Um, it's really hard to tell, um, because they have the flat fenders without, like, actually stepping um, next to it. So she's going up the right-hand side. The right-hand side is the harder side. So Eddie's like, hey, go down there and spot. Like, um, um, we're going to go up here and, uh, um, and do the harder side. And she successfully makes it up there. No lockers or anything. So she does a really great job. The yellow Jeep coming up is a newer Jeep. Um, that is a JL Rubicon um, Unlimited. The Rubicon means that it has like the Dana 44s and the lockers and all that kind of um, fanciness. It's more the, like the off-road model. Like a lot driver. Coming, come uh, on. Lot driver. But you know, once come again, on. they need some advice. Stop. 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 Uh, back up, but turn the wheel passenger. You're like basically doing like a three-point. So what I'm doing is I'm having him do a little bit of a three-point yeah. turn to get farther. onto the right turn obstacle, okay, uh, because yeah, otherwise yeah. her bumper would like hit the rock, and uh, yeah, uh, driver, a lot more driver. Come it's come mainly on. just getting her lined up. Um, to get up the trail and the hard part is and you can see like there's that little rock there the hard part is when you're going up the trail like from the driver's seat you can't actually see what's like in front of you so it's a little bit menacing because um, and what I do to overcome this most of the time is I actually poke my head out the window I mean I know they say I keep everything like inside um, but I can poke my head out the window and push the mirror in and I can actually see like where at least what's going on with the, the wheel on the one side and then I just have to kind of memorize um, the other side. Most of the time when you want to um, give out spotting advice from um, up here, you normally don't want to say left or right because that's really ambiguous because it's like who's left and who's right. Um, usually you want to use um, the keywords um, driver and passenger. And so what you're telling them to do is you're telling them to steer in the direction of the driver or steer in the direction of the passenger. That way um, it's not so ambiguous um, from either direction. Um, there's only one way to steer toward the driver, or one way to steer toward the um, passenger. The other thing you can tell is you can tell that these trails actually um, are slightly difficult. They're not like um, impossible trails, but they're not like um, super easy ones either because typically you don't see Rubicons just um, sliding down, uh, you know, the mountain or whatever. So this one's Kimberly. Um, we are the tail today, so this will be the last Jeep uh, going up the Daniel, t um, Little Daniel. And... Uh, I'm just like basically pointing her to the uh, the hardest obstacle I can find. I'm just like go over here. Everybody else is going to where it was flat out. I don't know why, but you see there how there's like that nice little V. Um, basically, the one tire is on a on a big rock, the other tire is on a big rock, and there's a big hole underneath it. That's basically like what you're trying to do, and you just try to do that all the time. This way. And then the other thing is you're trying to make sure that she doesn't get too off camber. And uh, she does, like, um, a little, it gets a little bit ridiculous, I think, somewhere around here. Um, yeah, right here. Look at that climb. <laughs> like, literally, she's just, like, pulling it, like, off the ground. And, 
I, I tell her that we need to kind of change the lineup a little bit because I didn't want her to um, feel like she was at off camber. So to, to fix that, like what you want to do is you want to steer into an obstacle. So I'm telling her to, to go passenger, even though like she doesn't really want to go passenger, um, like because she's putting her that much closer to the trail, to the edge of the trail. Um, the general idea is um, as long as you can get one of the wheels to engage like on another obstacle, it'll start pushing you in the right direction. And so she's like perfectly lined up. We just had to have her kick the lockers on for a second. So then uh, um, we didn't have to like mess around with like trying to like, put her on a different line. And she's going up the hard side. So all this like weird kind of camera action is because I'm trying to like kind of climb up a uh, rock face, um, holding a camera. Um, so obviously like right that spot is not uh, terribly um, rocky, but it does become pretty rocky uh, up here. So this is the, the Little Daniel Trail, like I was saying, um, or Little Daniel um, section, and they named it uh, after um, Daniel, the main trail, or the the hardest trail here. Um, however, um, this is the Badge of Honor section and the Badge of Honor Trail, and uh, I think she was just asking me for advice on how to get up there, but you can see how steep it is. Like I'm like literally using my hands to try to climb up this super, super steep. Um, rock faces, and she's just going to go right up it. So I think that basically we're just going to go up here and wait until she gets um, stuck, and then uh, once she gets um, past this section, Kimberly will probably come up and uh, and go. And Eddie's trying to get her uh, um, tires on the right spot just so she can get traction. She said, Don't stop. <laughs> but you can see, I mean, this trail is not like super, super easy by any means. Um, and this is a hard line, the harder line. Um, the, uh, the Like on the other side of the tree, there's a much substantially easier section that you can just go right up. And uh, there's Kimberly down there still waiting for them to get clear and they'd been spotting like the whole time I'm um, trying to get this chief up uh, but she did a good job she got up there um, um, no lockers um, smaller tires less experience but she made it up there like no damage to the vehicle um, all good and this is Kimberly driving up uh, little Daniel um, the Dickie Bell uh, Badge of Honor Trail. So you can see the obstacle on the back um, tire. That one obstacle there was like about half the size of the 40-inch um, tire. So even like the what looks like they're little rocks are actually pretty sizable rocks um, for the stock. Uh, vehicles and she only engages, engages the lockers like when she sees that she's slipping she doesn't just like drive around with the lockers on that's why you saw the one tire spinning um, once she starts to spin like that she'll just push a button and uh, engage the lockers and then once she um, gets it uh, over that spot she usually turns the lockers off um, she doesn't normally just like drive around with them on yep keep going keep going keep going so the awesome, and I, when I say awesome, I mean terrible camera work that you're seeing here is because I'm trying to hold on to a tree or something and not like fall off the um, edge. <laughs> so if you notice, like she just like went like right up the hill. Um, mainly, it's because you know bigger tires um, and lockers. Um, instead of having to, to muscle um, through the different obstacles, it makes it a lot easier. So anyway, so that's uh, Little Daniel. And then the next video will most likely, uh, the next off-road video, will most likely be the end of the Daniel, um, end of the Dickie Bell Trail. And 
like I said, a lot of people when they get here, they just yeah. turn around and they go back yeah. down that same area because that's the most interesting area of the trail.